if there's one meal that makes me go crazy in the backcountry, it's my tuna luna. And today I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is and how to make it. Hey everyone, before we get started, my name's Jesse and welcome to Backcountry Forward where we believe the backcountry is for everyone and it's the goal of this channel to get backpackers backpacking. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any other tips and tools to make your next outdoor experience a success. This is by no means an original meal. I can't take credit for it. I'm sure there have been hundreds of people who have thought of it long before I did. I just don't know if it has a technical name. I just call it Tuna Luna because it's got tuna, cheese, and moon-shaped pasta. So it makes sense to me. Let me show you what it is and how to make it. I should mention that this is a made in the pot meal, not in the bag meal, and this is what you're gonna need. You're going to need half a box of Kraft Dinner. Up here in old Canada, what you Yankees call mac and cheese, we call Kraft Dinner, or KD. Sorry for interrupting, but that's how we do it up here in Canada. Let's get back to it. Kraft Dinner, portioned into a bag. And then you're going to need half the packet of the cheese sauce in another bag with about two to three spoonfuls of dehydrated milk powder, depending on how creamy you like it. And finally, what makes this tuna, you're gonna need a packet of your favorite brand of tuna to put inside. So first things first is I have about three and a half cups of water boiling. Once your water is at a rolling boil, take your Kraft Dinner and Try to do this with one hand. Dump it straight in. Don't make the mistake that I did and accidentally add some cheese powder into the bag directly. I made that mistake and tried to get out as much as I could, but there was still some in there. So now I'm gonna just let that boil. I've turned down the heat to a simmer, put on the lid, let that simmer till I let it get to the tenderness that I like. Now, one thing you do wanna keep an eye on is to make sure that the water doesn't boil over. It can tend to do that a little bit. I find putting the pot lid just off at a slight slant keeps most of the heat in there, lets it simmer. Also, using your spoon, give it a stir every once in a while as it cooks. Once it's gotten to the tenderness that you want, simply turn off your stove, take your pot, go someplace far away from your campsite, and tilt to drain. You don't want to get rid of all the water from the pasta because that leftover water is what's going to be the base for your sauce. So you don't want tons of water in there, you just kind of want it to be a little saucy. And now for the good part, adding the sauce. You'll uh, want to whisk it up pretty good. Wait a few minutes to let that sauce thicken up. I probably made it a little saucier than I should have, but that's okay. Some of the tuna also helps to absorb that. So while the sauce is thickening up, open up your packet of whatever brand tuna you like and just put it right in there. Break it up, give it a stir, let it sit just a minute more and you're good to go. For about $2, you're eating hearty in the back country. I would suggest getting some tuna that is pre-seasoned, maybe some lemon pepper. I find that adds a really good zest. If you want to make this amazing meal, you're going to need an amazing cook kit. And so if you're just getting started, I have a video talking all about the cook kit I recommend that's cheap, affordable, and lightweight for the beginner backpacker. Just check this video out and I'll see you in the next one. Mount to Cinnabon!